Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my first Sephora Spring Savings Event haul. There's gonna be a couple, but anyways, let's get into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Sephora. So thank you Sephora for once again partnering with me. Now you guys know the Sephora savings events are very important for me. I like to stock up on all of the new products so that I can dry them out and let you guys know my feedback. So all of the items in here, of course, were gifted to me. However, I picked them all out. I have some things to say about all of the items, but first let's get into the details. Now first things first, you must be a member. I will put the link down below if you are not yet. So here are the dates. Rouge, you guys are gonna get 20% off starting from April 9th, so that's already passed up until April 19th. VIB is the next tier, you guys will get 15% off. That starts April 13th for you, and it goes until April 19th. And then Insider, you guys are gonna get 10% off. It's gonna start April 15th for you until the 19th. Now, if you're shopping online, make sure you use the code OMG SPRING in order to show your discount at checkout. This is unlimited. So you can use the code as many times online as well as in store. So you are able to shop online and in store for this. And you can also shop online and then pick it up in store. I also saw, side note, that Sephora collection is 30% off, which is really awesome if you're wanting some Sephora collection items. Anyways, I have all of the items, almost all of the items that I picked up for this haul on my face and I can tell you some thoughts as well. So all of the items that I did pick up will be linked in the description box. If you do choose to shop through those links, I do receive a small commission. So thank you to those who have already taken the time to do so. It really helps my channel out. Anyways, let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a moisturizer. So if you aren't aware, I do have more dry skin. So I've been on the search for a new moisturizer because I actually just ran out of the one that I was using. So I picked up a baby size of the top Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. I've heard very good things about this. This is a very popular product and I really liked it. Today was the first day that I used it. I felt like it sunk into the skin fast enough, but it still really did provide some good moisture. I can see why a lot of people enjoy this. So I'm excited to continue to use it to see if it transforms my dry skin. But so far, so good. And I just love how cute it is. And it's lavender. I love lavender. A couple of Dior items. I couldn't help myself. So the first thing that I picked up is the Dior Forever skin veil. I haven't heard many people talk about this, but the claims on it were quite large. We have extreme wear and moisturizing primer correction, protection, illumination with sunscreen. So it does have SPF 20 in it. And it's a very interesting primer. I've never used a primer like this before. It's thicker. It almost, it doesn't leave a white cast, but when you apply it, it applies like sunscreen. That whiteness does kind of go away. So don't worry about that. It's thicker. It does moisturize moisturize, it does illuminate, it does do everything that it says it's gonna do. It's a little bit on the thicker side if you're not into thicker primers, but this makes me feel protected for the summer. I think that this is a really nice primer for the summer. Now, I've only used it, I think, a total of three times now. I'm not really sure how it does with wear because I've been testing a lot of new foundations with it, but so far, besides the wear, it does everything else. It moisturizes, it does a little bit of correction because of that past, I said, has sunscreen in it, and it does add a nice natural glow. So I've never had a primer like this. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit heavy duty. I think I like it so far. The next item that I have is also from Dior. This is the Forever Skin Glow. Now I got the shade 2.5. It is a bit deep for me, 2.5N, but I really like the undertone of it. And this is more so my summer color. Like you'll see my, my face is a little bit darker than my chest, but I can get pretty tan in the summer. So I'm not worried about that. So I think for the summer, this is actually a very good color for me. So far I like it. I'm not in love with it. It has a very natural finish. I would say light to medium coverage, more so leaning towards medium. My skin looks nice. I don't have any complaints right now. It's a little bit thicker on the skin than I prefer. Like, it, I feel like it's not sinking into my skin. I've only been wearing it for about 
30 minutes now so I definitely need to do more tests on this but so far I think I like it it does have a semi radiant finish it's nothing obnoxious but it does hit the light a little bit when you turn and typically I really love Dior complexion products their primers their foundations so I am expecting to like this we will see I'm gonna continue to test this one out I was debating between this one and the matte one because I've been enjoying matte foundations but I thought this would be so good for the summer so my skin looks good so far far. Lots of foundations to try you guys. This is the only foundation I haven't tried yet. I heard a lot of hype about it. This is the Huda Beauty hashtag faux filter luminous matte. I swear her hashtag she makes them names so then they become a hashtag and that's so smart marketing wise. Anyways I got the shade Toasted Coconut 240N and I haven't tried this yet but I did a little bit of a patch test along the jawline. It's a bit yellow for me but I think overall it's a pretty good color. This is much thicker than the Dior and I put it on top of the Dior down here and let me say don't mix these two foundations together they don't look good <laughs> but I haven't tried this so I can't really tell you if I like it or not I just did a color test but yeah I picked this up so I will be trying it very soon. The next item you guys asked me about a lot but so many people have done reviews that I shied away from doing it and did other videos instead but I did pick up like I said I was going to the Fenty Beauty eavesdrop blurring skin tint I got the shade number seven I think it's a pretty good shade for me I've been picking up shades a little bit deeper for me just in preparation for summer so maybe this is a little bit deeper but because it is of a lighter coverage you really can't notice it but I really like this so far I've only worn it twice it really is blurring like it claims to be the only thing that I'm not sure about is wear time I do want to continue testing it out. So far, I think the wear time is pretty good, but I really like everything about this so far. It really does smooth out my skin, blurs it out, makes it look really good. It has a heavier coverage than what it sounds. It says it's like a skin tint. It's more than just a skin tint. I would say it gives a light medium kind of coverage and it looks gorgeous on the skin. And so, so far, I'm really enjoying this product. This is probably my favorite foundation that Fenty Beauty's ever come out with. And you guys know, I don't really like her complexion products but this one's solid I really like this one uh, so I did pick up the Patrick Ta cream contour M powder bronzer duos and I look how disgusting mine are already I could not decide what colors to get I asked you guys most of you guys said medium but I, I I didn't believe you so I ended up picking up both of the two lightest shades I believe there are three and I was gonna not touch and return the one that was not for my skin but then I got it and I was very confused so here is the lighter one this is she statuesque and this looked like it would be good for me and then I opened up the medium one which is if I didn't have a YouTube channel would have been the one that I ended up picking up she sculpted she sculpted looks really really dark and I was like oh no this is not I'm gonna return this one so then today I tried today's the first day I've used these by the way so it's been a bit of a roller coaster I used the contour in the lighter shade and it's way too gray on my skin it is not complimentary I was really sad my skin was like darker than it and it didn't look like it would be but these do seem to be pretty sheer and this was not a good color on me way too gray but the bronzer really really nice I really like this bronzer color but anyways when I did the cream by the way the cream blends out really Really nice it's like the blush duo he has I really like the cream formula when I tried that grayish color I was like oh so I did end up going into she sculpted it looked a little scary but it applied really nice it looked really good on my skin as well so I was like okay maybe this one is the one for me but like I said I really liked this bronzer and then when I tried this bronzer it's a bit too red a bit too deep so the perfect combination for me for these I think again I'm gonna have to play with these more is the bronzer the powder bronzer from the lighter one and then the cream bronzer from the medium one but both have a shade that I don't necessarily love for my personal skin tone I just feel like I'm right in between for these <laughs> I don't know I, I have to play with them more uh, the formulations themselves blended out beautifully the powders spread out beautifully as well I'm just the color choices aren't made for me I feel like Anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna continue playing with those. There's been a lot of hot talk about the Melt Cream Blushes. These were my first priority of products to pick up. I really wanted to try these. I'm not the biggest Melt fan, but sometimes when a product comes out, I feel like I just have a feeling that they're gonna be good. And these were one of those. So very cute boxes. The packaging themselves are very plain and 
nothing really special, honestly. But I picked up two different formulas. So they had more of like a matte or of a solid formula, not like a shimmer. So the first one that I have here is Honey Thief. And then I wanted to pick up the shimmer formula. So this one is supposed to have a little bit more kind of like a highlighter aspect to it. So this one is Golden Hour. Now these are called Cream Blush Lights. We like that, a blush light. So the shade Honey Thief, beautiful. Oh my goodness, again, today's the first day I tried it. It blended onto the skin so easy, just like applied the perfect amount of color. She has a little bit of pigment, but it still blends out so nice. So I tried it on this cheek first, and then I wanted to try the shimmer formula. This shade right here, Golden Hour, is definitely a little bit more sheer. So if you're more fair, I think you will like this. I still liked it on my skin tone. Don't get it twisted. It looked really beautiful as well. I couldn't actually see the shimmers as much as I was hoping. Just to make my face even, I have them both blended on the cheeks together. But this formula is so good. Now, I can't speak on wear time, so that might change my perspective, but from what I can tell right now, this blush formula, it blends out so nice and looks so pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more of Golden Hour because I do actually feel like they might have faded a little bit. Oh, look at that. This is the uh, one that I said doesn't have much pigment, but do you see that? Oh, I love this. The next product, I had to pick up something from Westman Atelier. I'm so intrigued by the brand. Like, why are they so pricey? So... <laughs> I buy the stuff. Uh, so I got the super loaded tinted highlight and I picked up the shade Paul de Rose. I definitely said that wrong, but can we just talk about how it comes in a leather pouch? <laughs> and the component itself is ridiculously heavy. Like, so heavy, super luxe. I picked out the rose shade just because I thought it would be pretty as like a blush highlighter, something really shiny and very pink. That's not the case, it's more of a highlighter, so now I do wish I had picked up a lighter shade, but nonetheless, I mean, it works nicely as a highlighter. I'm not so into cream highlights, so this was probably a redundant purchase for me, but I wanted to try it because it looks so good. I saw Alicia using this from Kinky Sweat and I really liked it on her, so I wanted to try it. And if you're into cream highlights, I think you will really like this. I'm very, very picky with my cream highlights. I just don't like them in general. So the fact that I can say this is a pretty good cream highlight should say a lot. So it's a good highlight. I wish I had gotten a different color, but it really does blend into the skin so nicely. Say hi to my friend. And yeah, I mean, I like it. I don't love the color that I got, but I think the formula is really nice. But again, cream highlights just don't do it for me. I don't know why I keep trying. A couple of powders so many powders have come out it's like the time of complexion you guys I didn't even pick up an eyeshadow palette who am I if you are curious about eyeshadow palette by the way I'm wearing the bottom half of the tartlet juicy palette just like these tones here this is the lid color and then I use like the cooler browns but to make the blue on the lower lash line I grabbed Tex from the Urban Decay Wild West palette just for that pop there. Anyways, lots of powders have come out and nobody talked about this. I added it to my cart just because I hadn't heard anybody talk about this. So Beauty Blender came out with their Bounce Powder Soft Focus Gemstone Setting Powder. Now I use it for the first time today. The plastic cover to protect it, it, the powder was still seeping through, but nonetheless, that's not really important. It has kind of that mesh top. And I, I applied it today. It seems a bit drying to me. I don't think I'm a fan of it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to play with it some more, but where I applied it to the under eyes, suddenly it just made my under eyes look a bit more dry and textured, so I don't think I'm a fan of this. This item has been on my wish list the last few weeks, so I did pick up the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. I picked up the shade 4, I think to be happier. I probably should have gone a shade lighter, but I think I like it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to try a few different ways of application because I only lightly set around the perimeter of my face and it, it does kind of give an undetectable sheen to the skin. Again, since my face is packed on with brand new products, I'm not really sure what's doing what. I feel like this did add like a pretty glow to the face while also setting it. It's really soft. It seems like a pretty hydrating powder and I did think it added a glow, but I'm, I'm also not sure. 
So I'll have to update you on this. Last two items, you guys. I told you I was gonna pick up a new Gucci eyeliner. One of you guys suggested I try this shade Celeste. And I've really been liking this pencil. I have it in black and it's not the easiest to apply. It's a little bit skippy on the skin and even on the waterline today, I kind of had to go back and forth. But it's this beautiful baby blue color that I thought would be fun for some looks. If you're not into color, but if you're looking for a way to add pops of color to your makeup, go in with a colored eyeliner in your waterline. Go with like lighter pastel shades because it's, see like it's light blue, but can you really tell? I added that navy to kind of pair with it so it wouldn't stick out like a sore thumb. But I don't know if I love this. I really love the lasting power of the black one and it lasted so good in my waterline. I'm not sure about this pastel shade. Um, so again, I'll have to keep you updated, unfortunately. Um, I'm not blown away by it. I really love the color though. And also, another tip, even if you aren't looking for a subtle way to add a pop of color, getting a collection of colorful eyeliners will amp up your makeup skills. I'm telling you and your makeup looks, instead of always popping like black or white in the waterline, do a corresponding color to your look in the waterline. It's a game changer. Uh, but I was really excited about this and I'm not sure yet, I'm not sure. The last item that I picked up is also from Gucci. I'm trying to build up my Gucci lipstick collection because I really do love their formulas and most importantly, the aesthetic of their packaging. You guys, ever since I watched Bridgerton, suddenly the antique vibe has appealed to me a little bit more and I feel like Gucci does a good modern take on embodying that. So I just love the packaging and I picked up a random shade, uh, no rhyme or reason. Uh, this is a fun shade for the summer. This is They Met in Argentina and it's a fun deep coral shade and I'm not wearing it on my lips as I'm speaking right now because it did not go with my look but I obviously you can see it. I, I have a demo <laughs> uh, so you can see it but uh, the formula on this is absolutely stunning. If you are curious what is on my lips, you can see I went with like a nudie peachy lip. I have Natasha Denona, I need a new lip crayon in Michelle along with Patrick Ta oh she's single lipstick so they're a really good combo so I will link these down below too if you are curious anyways that's it that is the first haul maybe it's the second one I'm not sure what order this is gonna be posted but this is one of the hauls because I will have another Sephora haul coming because I'm I'm not even kidding you when I tell you these saving events, I take advantage of them. In reality, maybe 20% isn't the most of, but for a maniac like me who buys as much makeup as I do, I, I take advantage of that 20%. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, again, a huge thank you to Sephora for sponsoring today's video. Seriously, dream come true. You guys have no idea how thankful I am for you. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. Friendly reminder to shop through the links in my description box because everything that I'm wearing, everything that I featured is also down there. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.